Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek. I want to just discuss quickly why I prefer rifaximin in adults to reverse SIBO versus say a prebiotic fiber like inulin or PHGG or uh, an herbal remedy. Now, SIBO, small intestine bacterial overgrowth. So again, your gut bacteria, small intestine you have certain bacteria, large intestine you have different bacteria, and SIBO is when you get these guys growing up here by 100,000 or more times the bacteria. That's what triggers leaky gut in most people. That's what causes inflammation <clears throat> to a large degree. And that's what prevents your brain from recovering if you've had either a physical, emotional, or inflammatory brain injury. All right? We've got to get this balanced substantially to get the leaky gut to heal, the inflammation to drop, and then the brain can recover. Okay, my whole focus was on brain recovery. Now, inulin can help with gut symptoms, you know, pr probiotics possibly can, these herbal remedies they can, but they never worked well enough for me to get autonomic nervous system recovery. And that's not just by symptoms, but we were measuring four different tests in patients, and we've been pushing on this for about 20 years, okay? <clears throat> I could never get any substantial recovery when I was using something other than Rifaximin. Now, what I believe is happening is, I think Rifaximin can completely eradicate the SIBO in the small intestine. And people will go, we have many patients where they'll take a round of Rifaximin and they may go, several months or a couple years before it comes back and their neurological symptoms are gone. I have never seen that with inulin. They may kind of feel better. Their digestive stuff is on inulin. Say digestively they feel better. They, <clears throat> they uh, 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 can tolerate certain foods again, so forth. But if they stop within a few weeks, sometimes just a couple days, those symptoms come back. And these bacteria divide every five to 10 minutes. You know, what that tells me is you get some suppression of SIBO with these other uh, ingredients, but just not enough to really eradicate the SIBO. And when you stop, it's still there. It's just, it's, you know, you've just cut it maybe in half or something like that. And I've never seen a patient, an adult, with autonomic damage on a test recover with a prebiotic a herbal remedy or probiotics just haven't seen it and so i know it's hard to get rifaximin at times many people have to use canadian mail order pharmacies to get a hold of this stuff because the pricing is just so outrageous in the united states that the insurers don't want to pay for it but it's super safe it's super effective and so that's that's the rationale when I'm talking about Rifaximin, I am trying to get the brain to recover. And it, <clears throat> you, you don't, in my experience, you need more than just that because we have all this inflammatory stuff from the high omega-6, basically linoleic acid containing vegetable oils. Same thing is happening in the, in the uh, meats that we eat. And then, uh, you know, lack of omega-3s in the food supply. And if you're you know, most adults need some vagal stimulation uh, to kind of put you over the top and to get your nervous system to recover. You know, in the long term, do you need Rifaximin all the time? No. You need fish oil and olive oil all the time because that's the food supply. That'll protect you on an ongoing basis. And most patients will just need uh, Rifaximin, you know, a 10-day course every several months or something like that. And the vagal stimulator, the older you are, the more you're going to need that on a regular basis. So all of those things together and your brain can actually recover. Even if your injury was 20 years ago, it doesn't matter. Uh, the brain's quite remarkable at what it's capable of doing. So anyhow, that's all for today. Everybody have a great day. Bye.